Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I am a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT field. Uh, today, we are going to look at upgrading our VMware ESXi 6.7 host to 7.0. Now, I had tried to do this on my actual lab host, and the video didn't come out very well. So we are using, I have a, you can't see it on the bench here, but I have a Dell Latitude E5550 uh, that is outputted to my capture card that I've got in my machine here. So hopefully we will be able to, I'll be able to show you the entire process from start to finish of upgrading 6.7 to 7.0 on a standalone host. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come over to our my VMware portal here. So it's my.vmware.com. And if you don't already have a key, you would go to this license and download tab and there'll be a register button. Now, I don't want to show you that tab because that shows you my key. So <laughs> I know they're free, but you know, you got to request your own key. So uh, you would come here, license and download. You would click register, uh, go through the registration process and you would be able to then download your ISO. Uh, so if we come over here to the, to my downloads here, uh, we'll, run a program called Rufus. And this is basically what this does is it will take our flash drive, which I've already got one plugged into the machine here. And we're going to select our newly downloaded, uh, where are we here? Our new, newly downloaded VMware uh, ESXi installation. And we'll click open and we're going to click start. It's going to warn you that everything on this flash drive is going to be erased and that's fine. Uh, basically what this is going to do is it's going to write the ISO to this flash drive so that we can then plug it into our laptop here on the bench and boot it up and install the upgrade for ESXi 7.0. Okay, we've got our, we've got our flash drive plugged into our Latitude E5550. Uh, you can see that I have 6.7 running on it. Uh, one thing before we blow this machine away. If this is a production system, make sure you have a backup. Uh, this is a laptop. Uh, there's nothing on it. I don't care about it. So I'm not going through that process, but if this is a production or a critical system or your personal system that you care about, uh, make sure you have a good backup before you, uh, before you start this just in case. So we'll hit F12. We'll put in our password. And we're going to do a restart. So we'll hit F11. And now I, hopefully this will show because I've had some, this is a laptop. So uh, I've got it. I've got the, the only way to get the HDMI output to work <laughs> on it during this process is to close the screen. So uh, bear with me here for a second and we'll get it pulled up. So you want to hit F12 and it's going to bring up the boot menu. And um, there we go. It'll be. The second one, unfortunately, I have two SanDisk flash drives in here. And there we go, the ESXi installer. This process is uh, pretty similar to, you know, installing ESXi from the get-go. Uh, there's nothing really complicated to it. You plug the flash drive in, you boot off of it. Um, you know, this is obviously without a cluster. If you had a cluster, the process is a little different. You would... Um, you know, if you had a cluster, you would vMotion all your um, VMs off to another host and you would update your host one by one, uh, moving the host off uh, at, you know, each step of the way so that you don't have any downtime. Now, this is a standalone host. I don't have a cluster over here at the moment in my lab. Uh, I just don't have a need for it. So um, let's go back to our capture card and see if we have gone through the process here. It's still booting up. We'll give it a minute. So this is the installation screen. It's going to tell you, you know, ESXi is, uh, you know, it installs on most most systems, gives you the hardware compatibility guide, etc. Uh, so we'll hit enter to continue. Uh, this is the end user license agreement. We'll hit F11 on that. And it's going to scan for available devices. And once we, once it finds the devices, we have the 16 gig, which has the uh, I'm sorry, it's actually the 64 gig. My 64 gig is the one that has the 6.7 installation on it. So uh, you want to make sure you get the right drive. So we'll select that and hit enter. Yep, 
it should find the drive. We're gonna, so it knows that there's an installation already present on our 64 gig flash drive. So we're gonna do an upgrade and we're gonna hit enter. It's gonna upgrade it. You wanna F, hit F11 to confirm it. And it's gonna run through the installation process. Now at this point, it'll take a couple minutes to finish. So um, we'll come back when it's all set and I will show you the final product. The installation has completed. So we're gonna remove our installation media and we're gonna hit enter to reboot and it will reboot back into, well, normally it would reboot back into VMware. On this one, we're gonna to have to hit our boot menu just because it's our laptop and I don't have it set to boot right off of the flash drive. So we'll hit F12 as it reboots and we'll log into, or we'll, we'll you know select our flash drive here or VMware ESXi, cool, it actually recognizes it, and it should boot right up. At this point, uh, we could go into the, once it booted up, we could go into our web console and put our license key in and start to use VMware as we normally do, but this is literally just a laptop. It's not, I don't have it connected even to my lab network. Uh, it's just, I'm just using it as a demonstration purpose to show you, or for demonstration purposes, to show you how to upgrade from 6.7 to 7.0 uh, in VMware. So that is, you know, where we're going to leave it at this point, but you can see, uh, you know, it's booting up and we've went through the installation process without a problem. So uh, pretty easy to do, not too terribly hard. Uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out there. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you did, you know, leave me, if there's something you want to know, uh, leave me a comment uh, below. Uh, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you can see when I post the latest video to the channel. 